OSINT investigations, open source intelligence investigations, being compromised by AI or artificial intelligence. Open source intelligence, OSINT, is a type of intelligence collection that involves gathering information from publicly available sources such as social media, news articles, and online forums. Artificial intelligence, AI, can be both a boon and a threat to OSINT. On the one hand, AI can be used to automate the collection and analysis of larger volumes of data, making it easier and faster to identify relevant information. AI algorithms can also be trained to identify patterns and anomalies that a human investigator might miss, potentially improving the quality of intelligence gathered. On the other hand, AI can also be used to manipulate and distort information in ways that are difficult to detect. For example, AI-powered deep fakes can create convincing videos and images designed to deceive viewers. Deep fakes are typically created using machine learning algorithms, particularly a type of neural network called a generative adversarial network, or what is referred to as GAN. The process of creating a deep fake involves training a GAN on a large data set of images and videos of a particular person, such as an actor or a public figure, so that the GAN, the generative adversarial network, can learn to generate new images and videos that look like the person. One thing I can guarantee you that is not fake is the need for private investigators to have reliable PI insurance. This video is sponsored by OREP Insurance and Working PI Magazine. OREP is a leading provider of private investigator liability insurance. Visit OREP.org for a quote today. The process for creating a deep fake typically involves the following steps. Gathering source material, which involves collecting a large number of images and videos of the person you want to create a deep fake of. The more data you have, the better the quality of the final deep fake is likely to be. Preparing the data includes cleaning, aligning, and processing the source material to create a high quality training data set for the GAN. The GAN is then trained on the prepared data set so that it can learn to generate new images and videos of the person. Once the GAN has been trained, it can be used to create new images and videos of the person. This typically involves feeding in an image or a video of a different person and having the GAN generate an output that looks like the person you trained it on. It's important to note that while deep fakes can be used for harmless purposes, such as creating fun videos, they can also be used for malicious purposes, such as spreading disinformation or creating fake news. AI algorithms can also be used to spread disinformation and propaganda on social media, making it harder to distinguish between real and fake news. Here are several other ways AI presents potential threats to OSINT, open source intelligence investigations. One of the main threats is the potential for AI-generated fake information, such as deep fakes and AI-generated text, to manipulate public opinion. It can even deceive OSINT analysts. With AI-generated deep fakes, for example, it can be difficult for even expert analysts to distinguish between genuine and manipulated videos, which can be used to create false narratives or incite violence. Another threat is the use of AI-powered bots and algorithms to spread disinformation and propaganda on social media. By manipulating social media algorithms, these bots can amplify certain messages, making them appear more popular and widespread than they actually are. This can be used to create the illusion of a consensus around a particular issue. AI can also be used to circumvent traditional OSINT collection techniques. For example, automated scraping tools can quickly and easily gather large amounts of data from websites and social media platforms. This can be used to monitor the activities of specific individuals or groups, but it can also be used to gather information on a large scale, potentially violating people's privacy. As AI technology advances, it is possible that new tools and techniques for collecting and analyzing information will emerge that are not accessible to the general public. This could potentially create an imbalance in the availability of information with some organizations having access to more and better intelligence than others. AI presents several potential threats to OSINT, including the generation of fake information, the use of bots to spread disinformation, the circumvention of traditional collection techniques, and the potential for imbalance in the availability of information. It is important for OSINT investigators to be aware of these threats and to develop strategies for managing them. While AI can enhance the effectiveness of OSINT, it also represents new challenges and risks that must be carefully managed, but 
is AI useful for OSINT investigations? Here are a few examples where AI may be useful for open source intelligence investigations. AI algorithms can be used to automate data collection from a wide range of sources. This can include social media platforms, online forums, news sites, and government databases. Automated data collection can help save time and resources while increasing the scope and depth of OSINT investigation efforts. AI-powered natural language processing NLP tools can be used to extract information from unstructured data sources such as social media posts and news articles. NLP can be used to identify key topics, sentiments, and entities within the data, helping to identify relevant information quickly and efficiently. AI algorithms can be trained to analyze images and videos to identify key features such as objects, people, and locations. This can be useful for identifying potential targets or suspects, as well for verifying the authenticity of visual information. AI can also be trained to identify patterns and anomalies in large data sets, which can be used to identify trends and detect potential threats. For example, AI algorithms can be used to analyze social media activity to identify patterns of disinformation and propaganda. Another thing AI algorithms can be used for is to analyze historical data and make predictions about future events. This can be useful for identifying potential threats and developing strategies to mitigate them. AI can be used to automate data collection, extract insights from the unstructured data, analyze images and videos, identify patterns and anomalies, and make predictions about future events. These capabilities can be extremely valuable in OSINT efforts, helping to identify relevant information quickly and efficiently and to detect potential threats before they become critical. And would you believe me if I told you that AI wrote the script for this video? Well, that is true. Yes, I made some adjustments for readability purposes, but left the general context and information alone. So where did this AI script go wrong? What did I say that may not be correct regarding AI and OSINT investigations. I would love to hear what you think about the accuracy of the information in this video, which AI scripted. So go down in the comments below and let me know. Really quick, I want to send a shout out and thanks to my many PI Guy supporters out there. Eric Hutchinson, thank you so very much, Eric, for your 17 months as a PI Guy premium supporter. I really do appreciate it. And Eric Lewis, thank you for your dedicated seven months as a PI Guy premium supporter. And how about Ivan Weich and his 13 months as a PI Guy supporter plus. Thank you so much, Ivan. And thanks to these PI Guy regular supporters too. Daniel Fleshman, thank you for your 14 months of support. William Tucker, thank you for your 12 months as a PI Guy supporter. And thank you to Samuel Wright and Thomas Kane for their three months of support. If you would like more information on becoming a PI Guy supporter, check out the link in the description below or click the join button. Now, if you want to know the top 12 signs that someone is tracking you with your phone, check out this video.